Pisces, hi. So um, this is going to be a reading for mid-April 2020. And I'll start it off with a Oracle card. Then I'll be going into the reading. And then I'll close it off with another Oracle card for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Uh, from the Mystical Shaman Oracle, you got the Crow. Let's see what that is. I'll read it out for you because the messages here are longer than just the crow, right? The crow. When you speak the truth and practice truth, eventually everything you say becomes true. Very nice. Uh, your power to co-create with the truth is the universal law. Correct what is untrue in your life without judgment. Let the truth set you free. Very cool and deep message you got there. Uh, stand in your truth, pretty much, which is exactly what we're all trying to do, I hope. So, Pisces, let's see. The overall energy for the reading, there's you. Uh, this is your energy. So this is you standing in your truth as it shows up like that. Uh, or trying to at least, right? Um, let's see. There are some hidden things possibly, some secrets at play. We'll see. Uh, starting off the reading, you get the Ten of Wands crossed by the Four of Cups. It's that energy of... Why does it always have to be so hard? Why does it always have to be like this, that, and the other? And things are not smooth, and things are not like this and that. And um, there's a sense of discontent, disappointment, and things like that uh, going around here, apparently. Things being or feeling too hard. Uh, your focus, the uh, Knight of Pentacles here. You're focusing on moving forward, and that's why it's so slow moving, because things fe uh, feel hard, right? Um, it kind of... Because when energy flows, and we all probably hopefully know that, uh, things feel a lot more smoother, a lot more in alignment, a lot more... We're feeling more free, more... Okay, let's... Go with the flow. Let's see what happens. When things are moving this um, slow, it's because we feel that things are hard on us. And, you know, like, why do I always have to go get a job and it's always hard? Why can't I be the person that goes there and they look at me and I don't even have to talk and they're going to hire me? You know, kind of like that. Um in your recent past, the ten, uh, the nine of wands. Hmm. Same kind of energy. I'm starting to wonder if that, because the invitation was to stand in your truth. And I don't think this is your truth. You know, um, where things are so hard and things, yeah, they may have been in the past. They may still be hard, but that's because we allow them to. There's something we're not in alignment with that makes things hard. When you're in alignment with what you're supposed to do, with where you're supposed to be, things are not feeling this hard. Uh, your strength here. You do have the capability here to... To take a risk once in a while. To do things like this. Like this guy here just jumps off the cliff. Doesn't even know. Am I going to land safely down there? Am I going to break my neck? Am I, I don't care. I'm just going to go because I feel. 
that I have to go, you know? Uh, you have that within you, but you're not using it too much, you know? Taking a risk. Um, some more slow movement in the immediate future. Something comes and breaks all of this for you. Something's happening that's like, no, this is not the way you're supposed to live. This is not, no, no. It, it just doesn't feel right for you. Why would you want that? You know, I don't know what the situation is. We'll see. Um, in the energy that surrounds you and you may not be aware of it, a lot of juggling, a lot of trying to do this, that, and the other, and taking on a lot more things, even though it's already hard. Why not making it but even harder, you know? Guess what you're avoiding? Taking a look at this energy. Taking a look at it and dealing with it. And understanding that we're creating these energies for ourselves. We can create other energies. And you possibly done this to yourself. Sorry, I gotta call you out, but we all do that. It's not you, it's everyone. We're all doing that. We get caught up in and we're not understanding that we are creating these energies. We are creating our own heaviness and our own happiness and all of that, you know, a lot of times. Um, the potential outcome, though, standing up and fighting for what it is that you believe, your truth, standing up in your truth, what it is that you want, what it is that you want different, what it is that you want to change, right? Let's see. A lot of heaviness today for you. Uh, for now. Let's see. Let's see what's happening here. Let's clarify the moon. The page of pentacles, the two of wands and the two of cups. You want to, you want to make something happen and you don't know how. Uh, something in regards to you and another person coming together in love. Um, there's movement towards that, but there's also a little bit of illusions there, a little bit of not being truthful, not being honest about things fully, but things are still progressing here. Things are still moving towards this energy of coming together. Let me clarify the Four of Cups. Not gonna take those too many. The Seven of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. How many pentacles does a water sign get? What's going on here? Well, these are, these are good pentacles. So, um, you're trying to work on your own stability. You may have somebody in your life. You may be with somebody at this time, but there's a lot of emphasis on, I got to take care of me. I got to provide, I got to do this, that, and the other. And at the same time, keep myself healthy, keep myself independent, good. I'm, I'm good. You know, there's a lot of emphasis on that, uh, these times you're working a lot towards that. And you know what? That doesn't bring you happiness with the Four of Cups being there. It's like you're working towards building an empire, but the feelings, you're, you're, you're forgetting about the feelings of it all. The purpose, the, okay, I'm gonna work until the day I die to build this empire. And then you die. And then, are you taking that empire with you? I'm not, you know, like, why, why? Because I don't think we can take our empires with us. I don't think I can take my car with me when I die. Or, you know, my swing on the porch. Or material things. Why do we do that sometimes? And I see you falling into that energy. And because of that, emotionally, you're very unhappy. Uh, let's see. Let's clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Of course, that could be your person. You would not. 
the uh, Eight of Wands, the Four of Cups again, and the Star. Yeah, see, when it comes to what you truly want, which is tied up to emotions, which is tied up to love in one way or another here, you're having a hard time communicating what it is that you want. Because you left those feelings, you left that aspect behind when you started putting a lot more energy and thought into work. It's like you forgot how to communicate honestly about feelings. There's a lot of sadness tied up to that, again, on your part. Because it feels like you're talking to a wall, like nobody understands you. Because you've lost that... Um, that touch, that honesty with yourself, with your emotions, you know? It's not that they don't understand you, they do. You kind of come off as talking another language here. You know? Not saying it's your fault, you're doing something wrong, it's, it's not that. It's when you focus so much on the physical aspect of things, you forget how to communicate with what's important, the emotional aspect of yourself. And then you're like, am I an alien? These people don't understand me. It's like, go back and get in touch with those feelings. And then people will start understanding you. You know? Let me clarify the full. The Nine of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the Lovers. So there is a connection here that you feel a very strong bond to. Uh, you're feeling kind of stuck in it, actually. And you realize that that's your true happiness. That's your truth, right? That's your... That's where you should be at um because you're not using work as a distraction you're using work as a lifestyle as a focus you know when all you want is this love let's clarify the page of pentacles The Six of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. Again, this connection, right? It's strong. It's feeling strong. It's a soul connection. It feels emotions. Ah, oh, oh, what am I going to do with that? I don't know how to deal with that. And the way it's progressing, you're not liking it. You know? And I don't feel the other person likes it either. Because it is moving forward, but... It's kind of like every time something shows up, a blockage of some sort, something. Let your emotions speak. Let your emotions be that truth, if that's you. Let's clarify the tower. The Three of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. Um, it's kind of like not only are you working for your empire, but you're not, possibly you're not letting your uh, partner participate into that. It's, um, it's kind of like my own thing. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it on my own. I don't want you involved in it. And that actually is going to create a tower moment. Because you love this person. You want this person. But you want them only in that side of the room where emotions are. In this physical space of the room, the rest of it, you're not allowed here. This is my stuff. It might create a tower moment. Let's clarify the two of pentacles and the hidden energies. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, I see this this need from somebody, from your person, to want to work together with you. That doesn't mean tomorrow you two are going to open up a business. They want to feel that they're included in that empire that you're building. You're not letting them feel that. You keep going back and forth about it, kind of like changing the subject, not really. For some reason, you're not letting them into your empire. And they're feeling that. And that's going to create a tower moment. They want to work with you. They want to be in that empire. You're not letting them. Uh, let me clarify the devil. Uh, 
the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the King of Cups, and you keep coming back to the same situation. Whenever this happens, and some sort of conflict happens, and this person is like, I'm gonna go, uh, you're like, no, 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 but I want this. I want this. Making promises, let's begin this again, let's um, erase the past, and we'll start fresh, and that has the devil all over it. Uh, you keep on doing the same kind of thing, not seeing what the problem is. And the problem is the key to the door to your empire. Whatever that means for you, you know? Are you going to give it to them or not? Because if not, you're going to keep going at it again and again and again. Like, no, but I want you in my life. You don't, really, if they don't have access to that. Let's clarify the Seven of Wands. The Five of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. Walking away. It's going to start getting uncomfortable. It's going to start getting nasty. It's going to start getting... Uh, you in a place of resistance here or the other person somebody's walking away here and i feel like it's the other person uh they're tired of fighting against a wall pretty much you know uh, trying and trying and trying finding excuses and maturity and things like that they they they're with you and they feel they're alone you know um And they're, they're just going to walk away eventually. If this keeps going on. There's something that you're doing and you're not sharing with this person. You're keeping to yourself and that's okay to do. However, when you're making promises to this person about the future, I'm not saying give them all of it. I'm saying give them a share. Let them know that they are there. That they are part of that with you. You know? All right, so let's see what the universe has for you. The Knight of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and the Five of Wands. Yeah, disagreements, fights. Walking away, coming back to it, walking away, coming back, ending up in disagreements again, walking away. Um, yeah, I think, you know, I think you got my point here. The fighting, the everything that's not working out, it's happening because somebody is not letting that person in. What they're building for the future, pretty much. Even though they, they, they want them for the future, they want them for the long run, but they're not letting them in. So, uh, let's see. Let's close it off with the universe has your back oracle card. The universe works fast when I'm having fun. It does. As I said in the beginning, it doesn't have to be this hard. And moving so slow, you know? So... Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much what I have for you. I hope this helped, and I'll see you next time. Bye.